Okay, we're on uh, 6.8 now, and we are on 6.8. This is basically graphing. Okay, we're going to analyze graphs and polynomial functions. And here is what we are going to start with, and this is basically the point that I want to uh, get across to you guys in this section. Here's the point. Um, the point that I want to get at with you guys is very simple. Um, it's why would we waste all this time graphing, um, plugging in numbers when we have a graphing calculator. If you're in chapter 6 right now, we've already spent a lot of time graphing, is my point. So this is what I want you to do. What I want you to do is I'm going to write down some steps in order to plot some points on a graphing calculator. So this is what I want you to do. Okay. This is, let's uh, get this all situated here. What I want you to do is I want you to press Y, oops, let's erase that here. I want you to press Y equals on your calculator. And then to get rid of anything that's there, you press clear, okay, to get rid of anything that's there. Where it's blinking, this is what I want you to type in. Right beside your alpha key, right beside the alpha, there is a button that looks like this. Right, you see that button there? I want you to press that button. That button stands for X. Okay. Then we want to put something to the cube, and there isn't a cube button. So right below the clear, right below the clear, there's a button that looks like this. It's a caret sign. I want you to press that. And then you can type in a third afterwards. So it looks like this. X caret sign 3. That's what it looks like. So X caret sign 3. Then you can do plus two and then plus two okay we have plus two let me type that in myself then go back to this again you press that button that'll give you your X we do have the squared key you guys know where the squared key is it's right above the log right right above log there's a uh, little two like that an X to a two you see that that'll give you squared so X squared and then we want minus, so minus 5, and then press this button again for x, and minus uh, 6. Okay, so after you type in all that, here's what it should look like on your calculator. x caret sine 3 plus, all of this looks the same the whole way down. After you have all that typed in, after that's all in there in on your calculators go to graph and when you press a graph because it's so far out right because the graph is so far out you get a graph that looks like this right it kinda comes off the screen comes back down on the screen you still can't see it comes back on the screen right that's really all of it that you see so I'm going to show you some ideas so you can um, see some graphs yourself in your calculator. If you go to zoom, all right, zoom is on that top, top, top row. If you press zoom, okay, we go to zoom, and if you go the whole way down, I think it is number uh, zero there at the bottom, it says zoom fit. If you hit on zoom fit, press enter at the bottom. If you press enter at the bottom, you might have to press enter again. So if you press enter a second time in a row, okay, so press enter, then press enter again, um, this is what it ends up looking like. It zooms in, and you end up getting a graph that kind of roughly sketched. It looks something like that, and it's just roughly sketched. Okay, so when you're sitting here looking at that graph, right, you're sitting here right now, or taking a look at that graph, and you're kind of like, well, I want it to be a little more exact. How can I make it more exact? This is what you do. To make your graphs more exact, I want you to press the second key and then graph. If you press second and graph, you have a table. And that table gives you a list of points. Here's all the points that it gives you. Okay. So let's see what points we get. We already know what that is, so here's what we get. We get negative 3, 0 is a point, right? We have 
negative 2, 4. We have negative 1, 0. We have 0, negative 6. We have 1, negative 8. We have 2, 0. We have 3, 24. Okay. If you press up or down, you can see that we have other points as well. Those are the only points that I'm concerned with right now. So let's graph some of these points. Right? So let's graph some of these. This is negative 3, 0 right there. Negative 2, 1, 2, 3, 4 is right there. Negative 1, 0 is right there. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is down here. 1, negative 8 is down here. 2, 0 is right there. And a positive 3, 24 would be somewhere way out there. Okay, so if we press graph again, I know that seems really wide. It doesn't look like that, but let's go back to zoom and go down to where it says standard. Zoom standard, if you notice where zoom standard is, that's basically what the graph looks like, really looks like. So what I want you to do is I want you to connect the dots and take a look at the graph. So when you connect the dots, you're graphing it correctly. So you just kind of keep going through connecting all the dots and there is your graph of that function. Okay, we could spend a ton of time plugging in points and what I mean by plugging in points is if we wanted to, let's move that up here, I could take a negative 3 and plug it in here. Right? I can get negative 3 cubed plus 2 times negative 3 squared minus 5 times negative 3 minus 6. That'll give me 0. Then I could plug a negative 2 in everywhere. And then it'll give me 4. Then I could plug in a negative 1 everywhere. But the point is, you've been doing that. You did that all in Algebra 1, and we didn't use graphing calculators. And you know what? We started Algebra 2 off. Even with quadratics, I made you plug in points and graph it yourself or learn how to do uh, some transformations. Now, you know what? With polynomials, let's not waste our time. Let's use some of the technology that we have in front of us. So um, I want to use the technology to graph some of these crazy equations so you get how to do it. So that's what I want to center on in this whole entire section, is making sure you get how to use all the technologies. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure we just did that one. So let's take a look here at this. OK, so um, when you type it in, all right, just to speed it up, remember it's x with a caret sign 3 plus 3x. Uh, so there is an actual squared button, minus x minus 3. Remember, when you plug that in, you go to y equals. So we press y equals, clear it all out. All right, so press clear to clear it all out. Um, x is right beside alpha, so we press that. Caret sign is below the clear. Um, to the third, plus 3. x, remember, is right beside alpha. Um, squared um, minus x minus 3. Okay, and once you have it plugged in so that it looks like this, okay, press graph. And once again, a rough sketch, you notice that the graph kind of looks like that. That's a rough sketch of the graph. That's great. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to find our list of points. So let's find our list of points here. So to do that, our list of points is under second and graph. So press second graph. And notice how the first thing that pops up on mine, maybe not yours, is negative 6, negative 105. No, I don't expect you to graph that. It's too big. The closest one that I expect you to be able to graph would be a negative 3, 0, because that fits. Negative 2, 3. Uh, negative 1, 0. Let's go down here a little bit more. Um, 0, negative 3. And press up or down on the arrows. You can find points that work. Oh, look, there's another one. 1, 0. And I'll just put down 2, 15 anyway, even though 15 is not on our thing. So what that means is I go over negative 3 and up nothing. I go over negative 2 and up 3 and put a point. I go over negative 1 and put a point. I go down.
down one, two, three, put a point. I go over one, put a point. And I go up two and up 15, which would be somewhere way up here, we'll just say. So if I press graph again, the reason why I tell you to press graph again is so that you can see what it looks like. Take a good look of what your graph looks like so you can connect the points as best as you can, which obviously I can't here, but you connect the points as best as you can to get what your graph actually looks like. And there's another one. Uh, when we come back here, hopefully we can finish up and graph some more graphs here uh, for you.